Hello and welcome to another video with Ars Coso. My name is Corinne Chen and I am a cognitive behavior therapy nutritionist. One of the most important aspects of health that I work on with my clients is recovery. And of course, that means we gotta talk about sleep. <laughs> because our world moves at such a fast pace now, sleep is often at the bottom of our priority lists as adults. We have people to take care of, we have work to get done, we have money to make. But today, I want you to take these next few short minutes for yourself to educate yourself on how to sleep well so that you can do all of those things and do it really well. When I say sleep well, I mean you have a restful, rejuvenating sleep. This is where your body heals itself from the stresses and demands of your day, and it also resets the rhythms and cycles that keep your body healthy for a long life ahead. Oftentimes, people measure sleep quality by time alone. They'll say, well, I've got eight hours, but why do I still feel tired and groggy? Here's the thing though, just because your eyes are shut, it doesn't mean you are recovering optimally. So for today, here are three tips to ensure you are setting yourself up for deep, effective sleep every single night. Sound good? Okay, so tip number one, you need to get some light exposure first thing in the morning. You're probably like, in the morning, what does that have to do with sleep? Well, there are structures in your eyes that use light signals to cue your circadian rhythm, which is your body's internal clock. The light exposure in the morning helps your body to produce hormones that keep you alert during the daytime so that when nighttime comes, you can produce the adequate hormones to help you relax and sleep deeply. So the light exposure should come from natural sunlight outside. Um, coming through a window unfortunately doesn't count. And you wanna aim for 15 minutes of this, as close to your wake up time as possible. So you can stand on your balcony with a coffee if you need to. And if it's a downcast or rainy day, then you need longer exposure, around 30 minutes. The second tip is you have to consume foods that are rich in a protein building block called tryptophan. This is an amino acid that is a precursor for the neurotransmitter of serotonin and the hormone melatonin. When serotonin levels are too low, this has been linked in research to insomnia and depression. Therefore, increasing the precursor to it can help to keep levels adequate for sleep quality. And melatonin, like I said, is a hormone that naturally increases in the evening as part of your circadian rhythm. It doesn't make you asleep, but rather it promotes sleepiness. By the way, getting light exposure outside in the morning from tip number one, that helps with the production of melatonin at night. And a little bonus tip about tryptophan, it can be found in things like turkey or poultry, dairy products, pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds, and it's best absorbed and used by the body when it's paired with some sort of carbohydrate. So you can throw pumpkin seeds or sesame seeds in a smoothie with some fruit, or you can have a turkey dinner with potatoes and veggies for optimum uh, tryptophan uptake. And finally, the third tip is for you to support your gut health, where trillions of your synergistic bacteria reside. These gut mi microbes help to ferment fibers from your meals, and they produce nutrients as a result. And this includes vitamin B6, which is a crucial ingredient to converting tryptophan into serotonin in the body. These gut bacteria also produce short chain fatty acids that aid in the absorption of magnesium, which is a mineral that is also a very vital component in the production of serotonin from tryptophan. So you can acquire probiotics from fermented foods such as kombucha and sauerkraut. And I love both of those things, but I also use Ars Coso every single week because it contains potent sources of probiotics, which are those live bacteria that help to replenish your own gut flora, but also it contains prebiotics that feed these bacteria and postbiotics that are additional nutrients produced by live bacteria. So this one little drink contains so many health benefits. You can learn more about Ars Coso at the Ars Coso website, where you can also read other science-based blog posts written by me about gut health and fermented foods. Thank you so, so much for taking some time and hanging out with me and learning more about sleep. I really hope this has helped you and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.